The Asus Laptop L410 is a super affordable PC, even among budget notebooks, compromising on the display and processing power to deliver a serviceable Windows machine with good battery life and useful ports. The Asus Laptop L410 is the one of the true super affordable Windows 10 systems, even by the standards of other budget laptops. We consider budget laptops to cost under $500 and the L410 model we reviewed is just over half that, at $264.99. Only a select few Win 10 models cost any less than that new, and for this price, you do get a functional Windows 10 system with a surprisingly sturdy build, useful ports, and decent battery life. The screen quality leaves a lot to be desired, though, and anything other than basic tasks will be a tough ask for the Celeron CPU. 4 gigabytes of memory, and 64 gigabytes of storage. If you have more wiggle room in your budget, we recommend the MSI Modern 14. Still, compromises are expected, and this is among the better picks out there under $300. This laptop's design may not be the most thrilling, but you may not guess it's a $265 laptop at first glance. Part of this is thanks to the paint job, blue with a sparkling finish which adds a touch of style to the budget lineup. Many of these laptops are black or gray rectangles, so I'm all for a splash of color. You'll also note a single standout key, the enter key is highlighted in a yellow-green color, just for fun. The build itself is made of plastic, which can't be a surprise at the price, but the overall quality is actually pretty good. Being plastic, it's lightweight at 2.87 pounds, and the chassis has a trim footprint at 0.72 by 12.8 by 8.5 inches with a 14-inch display. This combines for a very portable laptop, something easy to throw in a backpack or bag without much thought about space or weight. I expected the chassis to flex more when I applied pressure to it, but the lid and keyboard deck are surprisingly sturdy. There is a bit of flex if you push down on the center of the keyboard, but it's not egregious, and it doesn't really occur in normal use. The materials may not feel particularly high quality, but the system doesn't feel like it's going to fall apart and is solid overall. The keys themselves are less impressive, but functional. The press is rather shallow, the keys don't travel very far when tapped, before hitting bottom, and they're a touch mushy. Again. Not something that's surprising for the price, but it is important to note where the compromises are coming from for something that costs this little, because there will certainly be some. Much of what you're compromising will involve the components, and we'll get to that in a moment, but let's move on to the touchpad. It's built as many budget touchpads are, when you press down, the whole pad tilts down low at the bottom, moving as one unit. It feels a bit flimsier than more premium touchpads, which have little to no discernible movement and feel very sturdy. It still works fine, though, and I've endured much looser touchpads than this one. The other obvious facet is the number pad permanently drawn onto the touchpad. Obviously there's no room for a full, real keys number pad on a laptop this size, and on more expensive systems, Asus uses an LED number pad on the touchpad whose visibility you toggle on and off with a button. Here, the numpad is always visible, and you simply toggle the numpad function on and off. You can still use the touchpad normally, too, if the numpad is turned on, but you can avoid accidental inputs by turning it off when not in use. This is presumably a cheaper solution than the hideable LED setup, and it does work. If you're a heavy numpad user, you're in luck here, especially because most laptops in this price range don't even attempt to include one. The biggest downside to the physical build is, unfortunately, that display. It bears a standard Full HD resolution, so it's not the on-paper spec that disappoints. Like the recently reviewed budget Asus VivaBook 15, the quality is below average, and this one is worse. Their issues differ slightly. Where the VivaBook 15 screen was washed out, the maximum brightness here just isn't very bright at all, and even head-on, the picture quality isn't sharp or clear. 
The viewing angles are poor, darkness and discoloration appear quickly if you start to look at the screen from a slight angle, and it's not even fully consistent when viewed head-on. Overall, it's a poor panel that mars an otherwise reasonably good build for the cost. Last but not least, the port options. The left flank holds one USB 2.0 port, a USB-C port, and an HDMI connection. The right edge holds one USB 3.0 port and an SD card slot. This isn't a huge array of connections, but it's more than the basics, and the days of super restrictive ports on budget laptops may be behind us if even a system at this price meets more than the essentials. The system also supports 802.11 acres Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. One important thing to note, the laptop ships in Windows 10S mode, a setting for less powerful laptops that's more friendly for running Windows Store apps. If you want to install other applications, you'll have to grab the free upgrade to normal Windows 10 from the Windows Store. The Asus Laptop L410 is a little tricky to sum up in a one-sentence conclusion. It poses a lot of considerations. The build is reasonably solid, there's a good mix of ports, battery life is long enough, and it can perform basic everyday tasks. On the flip side, the screen is poor, anything other than basic tasks is a tough ask, and it has little memory and even less storage. But then you remind yourself that it costs just $265, and those compromises look a lot more reasonable. If you are absolutely set on spending less than $300, this is almost as good as it gets, and some pitfalls that could have been easy to fall into our strengths. The Lenovo IdeaPad 114 is also worth a look in this budget zone, with similar pricing and different trade-offs. If your budget is a little more flexible within that $300-$500 range, though, we would recommend spending more for a marked improvement in speed and storage. The MSI Modern 14 is our top pick for those budget shoppers. Teen is our top.